Doing a ROS2 project, there is no syntax error, but a logical error that you cannot find. And that comes to the level of debugging you can do. Let's discuss two levels of debugging, node level debugging and system level debugging. So in this video, we will discuss first node level debugging and they contain five level of logging, debug, info, warn, error and fatal. Let's start with looking at this node, which is already added into the CMake list and it contains four logging statements. One is a RCLCPP debug, RCLCPP info, error and fatal. They all have a certain message. They are perfectly built using call can build. Now let's run this node and understand what it is doing. ROS2 run drive tb3 logger node. Press enter and we can see it printed out only three this is an info message this is an error message and this is a fatal message there is one logging message that we will utilize later but you can see we can produce an error produce a fatal message with these logging statements and they are very useful there's also one statement that did not got printed which is the debug one and to run the debug we have to give arguments ross args log level debug we have to mention that specifically because debug log level gives us a lot of details like subscription is taking place the message and this time you can see that debug message is also printed this is a debug message and before starting the node a lot of things happen that can help you a lot when debugging a problem that what communication package namespace and what topic it is publishing on all of these details now let's take a look into an example of actual project how these logging level can affect the debugging part of the problem let's take a look into this code of go to goal for a turtle bot 3 this code is taking parameters of goal x and y and a proportional controller constant now to actually understand the logging functionality usage we need to first run this and see what actually it is doing then we will improve it by adding the different loggers into it if we just look at the logging system everything is rcl cpp log info so these are the parameters that we can change and a robot starts from the origin and it starts to move towards the goal location that is 2 in x and 3 in y kp value is 5 so the robot navigates to the xy goal so the robot moves to the goal if i reduce the kp value it rotates and it somehow finds out that I am at the goal. Otherwise, if the KP value is high, it keeps on rotating and does not find the end goal. While this is happening, on the other side, we have this logging functionality, which is logging our whole node. And it is constantly printing out the state, the angle, goal angle and error angle and all of these angle Euclidean distance and tangent angle values but they are making sense while we are developing and we don't need them when the code is developed right to understand this simulation more let's give another goal by just giving the parameter value of y to be 6 press tab and it now moves towards the 6 of y which is exactly in the straight line as i have not changed the x value so it is going to slowly keep on moving because of only the proportional constant and it is oscillating on the other side we need to focus on logging so it is currently on case 1 and sometime oscillates into case 2 and we will look into what case 2 and case 1 is then when once it reaches the goal it says case number 3 and all of the logging is happening now as we now understand the simulation let's take a look into the code what are the cases that we have case number 1 rotating towards the goal so first it orients itself and then move towards the goal once orientation is fixed then it starts to move but it keeps on oscillating between these two things because the dynamics of the robot are such that it moves while rotating so it gets its orientation again not heading towards the goal then it reaches the goal case 3 is printed so these three cases make sense of being on the log info because we want to tell the system that you are going to be logging things when we come to this distance to goal angle to goal these are developer things and we don't want to print out when we are done with the algorithm so we are going to shift it to debug level only right when we are debugging or developing the code and also there was also a problem with kp value as kp value at 5 it was oscillating a lot so i am going to add another logging system if the kp value is greater than 4 what you are going to do you are going to log warn let me just copy this whole statement 
and paste it here now I'm going to say this is a warning that I will print it on the screen as robot behavior will be abnormal because of huge KP constant let's close this whole simulation perform the build and make these changes to act and then we will see the response and how representable this code becomes running the same simulation and now you can see we are having the logging system that cases are printed and the robot behavior will be abnormal this warning is printed and it is warned now i can make this warning go away by just simply changing the value of my custom driver and write it to be three press tab and you can see the parameter has been changed the warning has gone just the info is now printing if i give another goal of seven case one case two and we can now easily see that case one and case two are changing again and again and this is the problem for the robots oscillating behavior that we need to fix so this logging helps a lot in debugging the problem now you might be thinking that uh, we are now unable to see the angle to goal and all of that that we have set in debugging mode how to get that this is the launch file we are launching that runs the simulation and empty world then rqt configure for parameters and the node we just need to add a comma here and as another argument we are going to add argument ross args log level debug this is where we can set logging level warn debug info all of these we can set it here and everything mentioned in the code for logging is going to be controlled with this simple line let's perform call can build and now run this whole launch file again with debug as enabled logging level a lot of things are going to be displayed on the terminal and they are very useful for example currently we can see the warn is also there info is also there debug is also there before starting the node important thing happens and that is subscription details all of the useful details for the node initializing in this namespace communication started subscribing and all of these very important thing happen when you have the debug logging level activated now that you have seen these things they are not going to make sense to you at first because you need to first get into the error and then apply these and then they will connect into your mind so next time when you will be developing you will first classify at what points did i need ross log info and what points i need ross warn logger so these are the things that you need to first decide before writing the code and they will make your code quite usable and understandable